If you want more FIFA content from me, I'm now uploading exclusive videos to Patreon. The link for that is down below. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to 6 o'clock content, if I cough in the middle of this, don't worry, you can't catch anything, I've just been for a run and nearly died, so yeah, uh, that's that's a story, That that's what happened, I would do vlogs, but that's literally the most exciting thing that's happened to me in about three weeks, so, as you can see, my team needs a little bit of work, I'm joking, I don't play FIFA on this account, uh, I played Weekend League earlier, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, let's find out if we've been given anything today. Jonathan Biabiani. Now, that is a flashback. I'm a little bit surprised he's going to be two segments, though. My money is on 85-84. Given the league, I am a little bit surprised. Although, he's French. So, yeah. Um, everybody loves a Frenchman. Three-star, three-star. Oh, dear. Okay, high-low work rates. Let's be optimistic about this. Insane agility, balance, balance. Acceleration, sprint speed, uh, which probably, and ball control and dribbling, which probably does make him meta in that sense. He doesn't have a five star or indeed a four star weak foot or skill move, so that really does take away from this card. But what this flashback is to, I can't remember the FIFA exactly, but it was like FIFA 12, FIFA 13, maybe even 14 at some point. This guy was just super, super fast, didn't need to have skills, and was just amazing on the ball and was one of those really cheap, overpowered players that people would use from the beginning right to the end of the game. I remember Aubameyang in FIFA 13. He was like a 76-rated card or something of that nature. Didn't have an upgrade once. Didn't have an inform, to the, to the best of my knowledge, or anything throughout all of, uh, of FIFA. And then right at the end of the game, he was still being used in people's main teams. And not that you had anything to play for, but people were still using a 70-something rated card right at the end of FIFA. And these days, we're looking at this 87 rated flashback and thinking to ourselves, this isn't very good. I, I don't mind it. I think it's all right. The composure and the reactions are going to annoy a lot of people. The three-star, three-star is going to annoy a lot of people. But if it's cheap enough, should be okay. I am struggling to breathe right now. Right, let's get into this. 84, 85. I mean, we're bang on on the money for prediction. I think it's too expensive. Um, I think where that needs to be now is probably just an 85 rated team. I think it needs to be a cheap and cheerful SBC. And unfortunately, it's not. Um, I, I mean, I do want to complete it. But at the same time, I don't want to just feed them because I just don't think that's worth it. And I normally I'll say this and then after and I'll render out the video and someone will make an argument on Twitter for it actually being worth it. And I'll look at it and I'll go, do you know what? Yeah, actually, you're probably right. There probably is a, a degree of of worth there. But on this occasion, I'm not going to change my mind. That should have been 84, 85 with an inform max. That's it. Just a bit of fun. Just, you know, 40 to 60K. Uh, not over 100,000 coins, which is now what that costs. Is that like 120K? That's too expensive, in my opinion. Foot 13, uh, that's still there. Foot 15 is... Oh, what the actual... I mean, they've given up, haven't they? Let's be honest, that's it, that's it. They've given up. A jumbo gold pack. If that isn't one bronze player, then uh, it's just not worth it. I, I wouldn't even bother. Would not even bother. That is awful. And that's it. So we obviously had them on Thursday. That came out yesterday. That wasn't too bad in comparison. I mean, why? Wh they started foot birthday off with foot 10, 50k pack. Since then, we've had... Uh, an 84 to 91, which is basically what you can get there. Okay, it's cheaper. That's fine. Okay, I won't bash too much about that. We had, I think it was a 25k pack, 15k pack, something like that. It wasn't very good for FIFA 11 and FIFA 12. I don't think they were very good. Uh, FIFA 14 or Foot 14, premium gold players pack. I mean, I've seen worse. That, though... That's not even a 15... That's half a 15k pack, essentially. I mean, like, I know that's a 7.5, but I mean half the rears of a 15k pack. So, yeah, don't, don't expect me to praise them when they don't deserve it. I mean, I'm, I'm more than happy to say, hey, yeah, you've done well. Like, yesterday, yesterday with uh, with Team 2, made a video, and I was like, yes, this is fantastic. I love this. I actually had to change my title from excellent content because I thought I was being a little bit too generous. Um... Because I, but I genuinely thought, I thought oh, I'm going to get hate for saying that this is amazing. But I genuinely thought, yeah, this is really good content. 
And we got another light, another loan. No, that's the same. Is that the same one? I think that's a new one. I think that's a, a new loan icon moment, uh, which is a seven game loan. That might help you in weekend league, I guess. I think that's new. I don't think that was there before because I switch accounts a lot. It's difficult to know what's new and what's not. But yeah, okay, cool. So that that's your content for today, essentially. Now, going, I want to go back to this because the more I think about it, the more this is worse than, than, than I initially thought because it's not just a case of He's, oh, he's, he's not bad, you know, he's going to feel super good on the ball. He's got good stamina, which is something that I'm guessing his base card doesn't have. His stamina has come up by 15, so if they'd released that with like an extra 5 stamina, it wouldn't have been good enough. But they've done a pretty good job there in terms of boosting things up, and I, and I do like it in a way. However, they've not boosted his weak foot and his skill moves, which is annoying, right? But also, this is a second tier Italian league player. Yeah, okay, he's French. You can fit him into a lot of teams. I grant you that because they released so many French cards. Someone put out on Twitter, finally, a French player. I think that might have been, was it Footwatch? It was. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's the it's a true story, isn't it? Because I said, um, when I say yesterday, or the yeah, yesterday when they released back a Yoko, and they gave us Saar, and I was like, all these French cards, they just keep popping them out. Here's another one. You'd swear they were based in France. But they're not, obviously. They're based in Canada. We don't have any Canadian players. And we had one Alfonso Davis, maybe. Anyway, Biabiani. Is he worth it? In my opinion, not really. Um, the, the links are going to be annoying sometimes. You're going to have to use French players or icons around him. You're going to get annoyed with a weak foot or the skill moves or both. And by the time you complete this for what is probably going to be 120,000 coins there or thereabouts, chances are... Uh, there's going to be better cards on the market. The other thing I don't get is that that Foot 15 pack. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Why release something so poor, so deep into the promo? You are, what day is it today? Saturday. <clears throat> You're one day into, into week two. And already you've given us a jumbo gold pack. Let's go over to uh, Footbin very, very quickly here. <clears throat> to have a look at... This be a Biani card in all its glory. So there are a fair few people who are saying, yeah, okay, I like the I like the player, but there are a lot of people saying I don't like them. Now, if you look at his stats from the base, that is a mammoth upgrade, and they've done a really good job in terms of upgrading him from a 74. I look really red. From a 74 uh, to the 87 that he is now, right? So I'm not bashing the card for that necessarily. I don't think it's a bad card. If you... If EA dropped this into everybody's accounts for free, I'd be there saying, you know what, thank you very much, that's not bad, I'll give him a go. Yeah, I'll have some fun with that, and I reckon you can have some fun with it. The thing that annoys me the most, and the thing that's going to put a lot of people off, including myself, is the fact that it's just going to be too expensive. An 85-rated team and an 84-rated team for this is just not... It's no bueno. That's that's the, the words that spring to mind. Let me go over and look at the similar cards. And you can see that Dan James is apparently similar on paper, although not really. He does have better passing. Um, that's pretty much about it, really. He's, he's got better passing, that's about it. But he was a free card you could acquire through um, squad battles as an objective, which they seem to have knocked on the head now, as in midweek objectives. <clears throat> through Future Stars, they gave us Tuesday player objectives. And we had four cards there available in the objective screen at one time. They did that for Future Stars. They've not done it for any other promo, which is really strange. But still, you've got Pepe, who <clears throat> is in a top five league. He's in the Premier League, which is arguably one of the best for links. He's in the same position. He's got insane pace, exactly the same shooting, better passing, nearly the same for dribbling. Not too far off on physical. Who cares about defending? This card currently costs... Under what Bia Biani costs. Oh, and did I mention he's got four-star skills? <clears throat> High-low work rates. What does uh, Bia Biani have? High-low work rates. I mean, that's that's good. I mean, that's fantastic. So, in terms of um, comparison there, I, I would actually prefer to have Pepe, and he's easier on the links and stuff. And then when you finish with him, you can get rid of him, because at some point you're going to think, right, well, this Pepe card isn't good enough anymore. If you think that with Bia Biani, you're like, ah, can't sell him, would have to go into an SBC, and then he's the equivalent of, what, a 30k player, if that. So you got to look at it from that point of view. I'm not saying that everybody's going to find this 
uh, useless and, and not worth it. I'm sure you can have loads of fun with it. I mean, if you give him a maestro, he's a 93 rated right wing. You just got to then consider the fact that he's got three star, three star. He doesn't have the links. And then after a while, you are stuck with an 87 rated card that literally has the value of an 87 rated card and nothing more. So if you if you do like it and he fits your team and you think you can have some enjoyment, you don't care about the three star, three star, go right ahead. But if you are like me and you're looking at the bigger picture and you're not just looking for the next sort of 10 minutes worth of fun, I would probably avoid this. Have we got a price tag on this yet? Not quite. I would imagine, though, for uh, an 84 and an 85, we've probably had a player. I mean, this is 200k, right, for Malang Sar. Uh, was he an 80, 85, 80? I mean, 85 and 85. So that's 100k just for the 85 rated team. And then, what is it, like between 40 and 60k for an 84 rated team? I forget pricing. Well, I can't find the value of an 84 rated team, but like I said, between 40 and 60. So, yeah, this is going to cost you like 140k plus for, for that card. I just don't see that. If that was on the market, you telling me that would be 150k. I don't, I don't see it myself. Like I said, if you're interested in doing it and you complete it, let me know where you think it was worth it and if I was wrong or not. But this one, it just isn't for me. That's all it comes down to, just not for me. If you have enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.